Hello everyone. After learning the two important topics of English grammar, that is sentences and three subdivisions of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense. Let's now understand an interesting application of what we have learned so far. This lecture will help you writing a proper informal letter. Children, you have been writing an informal letter in the previous classes and will be writing them in the future also. In addition to discussing the structure of informal letter, I will also acknowledge you where on the envelope do you mention what detail and that detail will help you when you practically write and post a letter. So children, it's going to be a very interesting session. Also because after discussing the whole information, I have a surprise for you all. So let's get started quickly. So here comes the format of writing an informal letter. Let's see how to write an informal letter. We begin the writing of informal letter with sender's address. Sender's address is always written on the top left hand side without end punctuations. Then leave a line and write the date. Date is always written with the full letters of the month like 16th May 2020. Then again leave a line and comes a salutation. Salutation is the greeting or addressing to whom you are writing the letter. As I am writing this letter to dear father. It could be your mother, any of your informal relation to your friend, to your brother or to your uncle. So this is called, an, called a salutation. Then comes the body of the letter. Body of the letter should have three different paragraphs. In the first paragraph, you should write the introduction. Introduction means the reason of writing the letter. What is the agenda of writing this letter? Then comes the main content of writing this letter. That's called the detail of writing the letter. Then in the last two lines, you write the conclusion. Like bidding him or her goodbye. So this way, the body of letter contains three different parts. Introduction, content and then the conclusion. And then comes the last part of the letter. What is that? Subscription. Subscription is written with yours. Affectionately, if the letter is written to any of the informal relationship like your father, your mother, then you must write yours affectionately and if it is to your friend, then you could write yours sincerely. Here you will write your name. So this way, the format of informal letter completes here. I repeat here, the first part of writing the letter is sender's address, then comes a date, then comes a salutation, and then comes a body of the letter. Last part of this letter is subscription. Subscription can be either to your father, 
if it is to the father then you should write with the affectionately or if it is to the friend then with yours sincerely hope this part is clear to all of you so children as i promised in the beginning that i have a surprise for you here this is an envelope which is used to post the informal letter on the top of the envelope we write the receiver's address and i must clarify that this is not a part of the informal letter which i have explained you here it is just for the convenience of the postal authorities this is a letter sent by the late prime minister jawaharlal nehru to his beloved daughter indira gandhi so let's read so children this is a letter let's open the envelope and read the letter my dear indira on your birthday you have been in the habit of receiving presents and good wishes good wishes you will still have in full measure but what present can i send you from naini prison my presents cannot be very material or solid my presents cannot be very material or solid they can be of the mind and spirit things that even the high walls of prison cannot stop you know sweetheart how i dislike sermonizing and doling out good advice i have always thought that the best way to find out what is right and what is not right what should be done and what should not be done is not giving a sermon but by talking and discussing and out of discussion sometimes a little bit of truth comes out i have liked my talks with you and we have discussed many things but the world is wide and beyond our world lie other wonderful and mysterious worlds but what am i to do then a letter can hardly take the place of a talk at best it is a one sided affair imagine that i have made a suggestion to you for you to think over as if we really were having a talk bapu ji is in prison but the magic of his message has stolen the hearts of india's millions men and women and even little children come out of their little shells and become india's soldiers of freedom in india today we are making history and you and i are fortunate to see what's happening before our eyes and to take some part ourselves in this great drama what part shall we play in it if we are to be india's soldiers we have to respect india's honor and that honor is a sacred trust it's no easy matter to decide what is right and what is not never do anything in secret or anything that you would wish to hide for the desire to hide anything means that you are afraid and fear is a bad thing and unworthy of you be brave and all the rest follows we work in the sun and in the light even so in our private lives let us make friends with the sun and work in the light and do nothing secretly and if you do so my dear you will grow up a child of the light unafraid and serene and unruffled whatever may happen i have written a very long letter to you 
and yet there is so much I would like to tell you. How can a letter contain it? Goodbye, little one, and may you grow up into a brave soldier in India's service. With all my love and good wishes, your loving father, Jawaharlal Nehru.